Oh, look at that, it's perfect. <laughs> what is happening, people? Says welcome back to another video. I'm T2 Sugars, a Welsh graffiti artist, and today I am lying on the ground. If you're wondering why, it's because I wanted to show you my lovely vintage carpet. This is vintage carpet number two in a new house that I've bought. So me and my wife have moved from our lovely Dunup house to this one, and this house needs a lot of work. So yeah, over the past couple of weeks, we've been doing a, a lot of work to this house and a lot of commissions. So I've been struggling on time on editing. So this one big mammoth video will show all the paintings that I've been doing and hopefully explain what's going on. So yeah, this is one of the things that I'm most excited about is this garage here. It is going to be my studio. Let's go in and have a look. So the lighting in here at the minute is terrible. We have this one fluorescent bulb. I have a rack already built for all my paints, which has fallen down apparently. Uh. Then we have a little workstation at the back where I'm gonna be doing paintings and whatnot. And obviously we have all the building materials for the building work that's going on indoors. I'm going to show you a bit of a montage of paintings now and uh, I'll see you guys at the end and I hope you enjoy. Today I am at Baguette You Like. I am in Ferndale. We are at Scoops and Smiles. Today I am at Penrice Primary. So today I am at Ascol Shanhari. So let's go. There we are. So on my last day painting you, I finished everything apart from a little square over here. So everything is now finished. I just need to do this last little bit of black. And you're all probably thinking, oh you ran out of paint, what an idiot. No, there's a beehive in the little holes here. The bottom one is a beehive. So. I don't know what to do. We've just got to get up there, paint it as quick as possible. Hopefully all the bees won't come out and sting me. And then we can reveal it. But yeah, it's all done. Apart from this, let's get this done and uh, get out of here. Come on. We've got these two walls either side of the door and we have this long wall that runs all the way up the side of the garden. So uh, first thing I need to do, mark out some lines and we can get started. So yes, we are done for day one. I knew we wasn't gonna get this one finished because it is such a big wall. But we've got a lot of it done. I just needed to come back and do the writing tomorrow and a little bit of details. But I've got most of the groundwork in and all the sky is now in. But uh, really happy with the way that this is turning out. Looks funky as a little sunset on like a candy land. We've got the, the balloons are all done. The wings are done and uh, Come back tomorrow to get this one finished. So, see you then.
hoping that you guys are liking it too. Let me know in the comments below. Woo! Woo! We are painting the library area. So let's get inside and let's have a look what we're painting. So this is the library area. It's a pretty beige looking thing, but we're painting it and we're gonna add a lot of color. So this is what it looks like. So over here, we have some magnolia wall. Oh, it's so magnolia. We've got some more magnolia wall and a lovely looking window. Then come around over here with me. We've got some more magnolia wall. So yeah, we're gonna add a lot of color to this. We got two days on this one. This is day one of two. So let's paint day one of two and let's get started. So yeah, we're all done here at Penry's Primary. And if you guys enjoyed our little library session, make sure you like and subscribe. Skull Sir Harry, and we are inside today. Thank God, because it's supposed to be raining all week. But let's get inside and have a look at the wall. So, yeah, if you are familiar with the school, this is the corridor leading on to this lovely looking cloakroom. So, this is the area in question that we are painting. We are going to add some colour to this area, and I have four days to complete. Only four days, and I've only got a limited amount of hours in each day. Eight till four, which is not a lot. So let's go. So I have one wall done. That's a start. So yeah, wall three is done. And it was quite eerie really when I was painting the Aberfan clock because obviously the meaning behind it. And if you're not from Wales and you don't know what the Aberfan disaster was, I'll put a little link to maybe an article down in my description that you can go check it out. But uh, yeah, that was a bit, yeah, a bit of a sad painting that one. But uh, moving on to the other wall now, we are gonna be painting Alan Jones and Aaron Ramsey. So let's go. I have failed. I wanted to get this done in four days. Instead, I'm back for the fifth day, 
because the caretakers are kicking me out at half past three and it is now three o'clock. Ah, that's what happens when you slightly misjudge your time management. But no fault but my own. See you on the next day, which is Monday, which is now Friday. Have a good weekend. So yeah, this is day five of this project. I didn't film anything of today because I just wanted to get it all done and show you guys what we've done. Give a big thank you to Miss Bevan and Miss Crema for organizing this. Without them, this wouldn't have happened and the head for agreeing to having me in. What an awesome project. And if you guys have enjoyed watching this, make sure you like and subscribe. So yeah, I am currently out here building this little garden wall, putting a new garden fence up. But it's been one hell of a summer and I've enjoyed every painting that has come my way. And I thank everyone for all the commissions and everything. And uh, if you want to check out some shorter videos, I put up a lot of shorts up on YouTube. Go check them out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.